when dealing with multiple verbs, some of them have time constraints and some of them have priority constraints. Not all of the urgent ones are important nor all the not urgent ones are not important. We can think of a matrix template to store four criteria using four different formulas. Stephen Covey created an urgent important matrix, commonly known as Eisenhower matrix for high input and organizational skills. He named it after the 34th President of the United States of America, Dwight D. Eisenhower. Let's see how to navigate through that. Hello there, this is Fariha Tulmim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forum, templates and VB related answers. In this worksheet we can see two dataset templates. Data part will get the urgency or importance of different tasks. Next is our Eisenhower matrix where we will get task names as output in four types of cases where the criteria match. Using these, we can learn how to create an Eisenhower matrix in Excel. In the process, we have used Excel 365. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. For the data section, select C6 to D13 to insert yes or no for important and urgent columns. Go to Data tab and from the Data Tools group, choose Data Validation. Here, from the Allow drop-down, we can see that data validation can be quite featureful using whole number, decimal, list, time, etc. For now, we will be using list. In source, we need to type yes, comma, no as our source. Okay, now we can see that all of these cells are added with drop-down. Now, let's add yes or no according to we need. There we are. Now, let's go to our Eisenhower matrix. Here, select H6 to H9 and in the formula bar, we will paste a formula that we have copied from the article that has been linked in the description box. Pasting the formula, we can press on Ctrl Enter so that all the cells within the selection are converted with the same formula. Now let's break down the formula for you. Starting from the innermost argument, text of len function gets all the characters from B6 to B13 and we get the character numbers of the array. Now, this part will be true if the characters are not equal to zero. This part will detect yes values from the important column and this part will detect the yes values from the urgent column. Multiply to align these three conditions. Now, this is the logical test part of if function here. As all the conditions are met, it will show us true. So, the formula will go to value if true part that will get 1 to 8 using row function on A1 to A8 since we have 8 variables or tasks here. For the false values, it will go to value if false, which is empty cell. These outputs in the form of an array is the array argument of small function here. The order of which smallest number we want is added here so that we get different tasks within our matrix for urgent and important. Here, row of A1 will get 1, so the first smallest number. As a result, we get 3 as the smallest. These orders from the small function will work as the row numbers for the index function. Row numbers will be applied on the array of task names from B6 to B13. Output of index function is the value argument for if error, which will show blank cell if it finds any errors. For our first output, we can see its meeting. As we can see, all the cells are formatted with their corresponding formulas. Now, as we can see that urgent and important tasks are meeting and manufacture based on this data, we can also try that on J6 to J9 for not urgent but important. We have also copied this formula from the article below. Control Enter. 
So not urgent and important tasks are audit, visit and distribute. In the same way, age 10 to age 13 will get urgent but not important using this formula press ctrl enter so placement is urgent but not important now finally not urgent and not important as well select j10 to j13 and paste the formula in the formula bar ctrl enter so transport and painting tasks are not urgent and not important as well for your convenience let's add the formulas that we have used in c15 Using formula text function, we will use reference as H6. Let's see, change the orientation from the home tab and from the alignment group, default alignment. Here, let's copy the formula till 18. And here, the reference will be J6. The next one is H10. And the final one is j10 now we can understand that the only difference in these four formulas are within using the criteria as yes 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 no no yes and no no now it must be easy for you to prioritize tasks based on urgency or importance using this elaborate steps you can create an eisenhower matrix in excel you can even create the template for three variables each side you can practice this with the help of the excel file in the description box below let us know if you could do it in the comment section share your suggestions and feedback as well you can visit our website exceldemy.com and reach out to our forum for all your VBA or Excel related problems free of cost. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.